Hello and welcome back to I Am Me. Today I'm going to be showing teachers how you can save hours upon hours of your time each week. In this video you'll see how AI can finally create your presentations for you. I have found a tool that is completely free and generates comprehensive presentations in less than a minute. They are completely editable and customizable which makes it perfect for teachers. I will explain where to create these presentations, how to create them, their limitations and ways to overcome their limitations and I will also show you key areas within the website for extra information that would be beneficial to you. However, before we start, I would like to introduce to you why the channel was actually created. I created this channel to provide teachers and parents with resources that are completely free. I've began with maths resources and still working through these, but I have begun to create SPAG, writing and reading resources too. All resources were created with homework, home learning and interventions in mind as they have a QR code attached with a video that explains the questions in the worksheet. However, they can be used for lessons as well. As I said, all the resources are completely free and will always remain free. It's just a service that I would like to provide for teachers because I know how hard and difficult it is as a full-time teacher. So, let's get started. Where do we find it? You can open up any internet browser, it doesn't matter. I've got Google open, any is fine. And you're going to type in Tome, T-O-M-E. It is, ignore that, it is the first one that comes up. You're going to click on it and it's going to come up with this page. You're going to go sign in. You can sign in with any Google account or you can create an account. It's completely free, it's completely safe. Once you've done that, it's going to turn to something like this. It's going to ask you for your profile name and your role. So I've just put I am me. My role is an educator. Let me walk you through every single step. All right, then I'm going to create my workspace. My workspace, I'm going to put as I am me as well. And that's where you can share work with other colleagues. Right, then it comes to, do you want it free or do you want to pay? It's $8 a month if you want to the paid version. However, it is completely free and you can do everything you need with the basic. If you're willing to pay the $8 a month, great. But this is no promotion. I'm not getting paid to advertise this. I'm just helping teachers to be able to create presentations. So, basic. All right, here are lots of different styles of presentations. All you need to do to create a presentation is you're going to go on the create button. But let me quickly show you. Notifications will tell you anything that's happened. Recent will tell you all the presentations that you've been working on. Your personal will tell you to save all your presentations. People that have shared it from your workplace or your colleagues or by link, they will appear here. And yeah, so create. Here, you can try create your own title. However, what you're going, I like to do is going to create presentation about, and I'm going to say what I want to have it about. I'm going to put the Victorian times. Now, I'm going to do the Victorian workhouses aimed at year six children and ten year olds. Create. It's fun and engaging with, what's, what shall I have to focus as? Shall I have the conditions of workhouse, separation of children from parents, um, work in the workhouse, why did it start and why did it end? You can be as specific as you want. I, I suggest you be more specific because it reduces the editing at the end. But as soon as you're finished, press enter and it will create an outline. You can edit the outline or you can go with it. So, from rags to riches, the rise and fall of the Victorian workhouses. Welcome to the workhouses. What were they? The conditions, separation. Do you see how it's created what I put? And then if I press continue, it will generate text and images as I'm speaking that meets those sections, as you can see. So, what happens when it's created? It's done in less than 60 seconds. If you want to be picky, you can make it longer. 
and I suggest you to be picky. You want to make it customizable for your class. So we've got all this title. If I don't like the title, I can change it. Some fit, I can literally just take away or just leave it as Victorian workhouses. If I don't like it, I can undo. I just press Control Z like you would in Word. Here are the sections, the content. If I don't want it, I can delete it. Bye bye. Welcome to the Victorian Workhouses. Hello and welcome to our presentation about the Victorian Workhouses. Today we're going to learn about what life was like for people who lived in the workhouses during the Victorian era. Although it might sound like a boring topic, we promise you'll make it fun and engaging for you. Don't like that part? I might put it's, it is really interesting. Don't like how I've wrote that. And what I can do is I can highlight that and I can go on AI edit. I put something in different and I can ask it to rewrite it. I can ask it to adjust the tone to make it neutral, friendly, excited, persuasive, or intellectual. I can make sure it fix me spelling. I can extend it. So I might just say something little. I can make it extend or I can reduce it. So how I done that was I highlighted the part and then I this would come up. Then I clicked on this AI edit. See? What happens if I don't like this image and I think the image isn't appropriate? I click the image. I go down here where the command bar is and I click on that. And I want to create image and it will come here. So I might want my image to be um, Victorian workhouse with children in the picture looking um, sad. And I'm going to generate it. And then it comes up with different types of generated pictures from your command. So you not only can you change the text, it can create text for you. It can change the tone of text, but also it can create pictures. So I've got four pictures here. Might go with this one or this one or that one. Maybe I'm thinking I want the Victorian workhouse to be in the background. Victorian workhouse, main part of picture, but children, in the picture, looking sad in the foreground. Didn't like those pictures, I can change them. Again, AI generates whatever I want it to. It takes a couple seconds. Let's see. There we go. Or outside. And when I'm happy with that, I can keep this one or I can delete it. And it'll take this. So, next page. What were the workhouses? Were places where people could go to live and work during the Victorian era. They were created because there were so many people who were very poor. All right, I like that, but I want more information. So what do we do? I highlight it, go on AI edit, and I'm going to extend it. And it will extend your selected section. If you for actually, I think it's a bit too formal. I want it to be more interesting for the children. I can create it to become more excited. And it'll change the text to make it sound a little bit more exciting. Again, I can always change these pictures uh, by going to command box. I can do lots of things with these command box. I can do, obviously, uh, new pages, add web links. Um, I can add pictures. I can create tables. Um, I can add videos. All these things I can create there. So if I was to add a video, here's the video, and I would upload the video. I don't want that. I simply right click and delete. When I'm happy with this, I can share it. I can share it with anyone in my organization for I and me. I can share it with anyone who has a link. A limitation might be that actually your school is protected on its websites to what you can use. So Tome might not be allowed in your school because of firewalls. If it was me, I would speak to the ICT lead and ask them to unrestrict Tome, as it shouldn't really be a problem because it's a completely safe and free website. However, if you don't want to ask your ICT lead and for some reason your firewall is blocking the website, which I can't imagine it doing, then you're going to have to pay for the pro version.
The pro version allows you to download the content that you create instead of using a link that redirects you back to Tor. So what other limitations do you have? Well, there's a limit to how much you can AI generate. I think it's 250 times, which means you could probably do 10, maybe 15 different PowerPoints with lots of different adjustments that suits your specific customizations. However, if you didn't want to pay for the pro, which I wouldn't, then you could just create a new account. It's quite simple. I've got two accounts. I have 250 on each, basically have 500 different AI generations. <clears throat> shouldn't really be a problem. You can share with each account. As long as you create a different email address, it shouldn't make much difference. Once you've completed and you, you're happy with your presentation, what you need to do is you can simply go off and it will automatically save. Or you can press play to watch it. Let's go back. I pressed escape there. So here it is. Here's the ones that are shared with your group, your organization. I have not shared that, so it's not there. If I wanted to find it, it can be on my personal, it is here, or in my recents. If I want to share it, I can go on copy link, which is here in my recents. Once I click on copy link, I then can just go to a new browser and click and paste. And it'll take me just to the presentation. I can't edit on it, it just has the arrow keys. So arrow keys, right? And I can just go through it and work through it with my class. I hope this has been helpful and I hope people actually use this because it will save you lots of time planning your lessons. Have a nice day. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. That will make a massive help and the best way for you to say thank you.